Greetings, this is Brian Kluth with NAE's Financial Health website and online training courses. Thank you for allowing us to take a few minutes to share with you and your church leaders information and instructions about the Bless Your Church Legacy Bequest training that God can use to release four, five, or six-figure gifts at your church in the years to come. We'd like to start by sharing a verse with you, Proverbs 3, 9. It says, Honor the Lord with your wealth and the best part of everything you produce. This verse has two parts. The second part says we are to honor the Lord with the best part of everything we produce. Some versions say honor the Lord with your first fruits. This has to do with giving to God from your regularly ongoing income, your paycheck, your products, your profits, what you produce, and any money and financial blessings you receive in your day-to-day -day life. Most people watching this video actively do this, honoring the Lord with their income. And they do this by giving to their church, missions, and ministries they care about. But in the first part of the verse, it says, honor the Lord with your wealth. It turns out that when you look up the Hebrew meaning for this word, it is not referring to income, but is referring to honoring the Lord by giving to God out of your accumulated possessions, investments, property, stored up resources, and appreciated assets that you have accumulated over a lifetime. David and his leaders did this in 1 Chronicles 29. The Israelites did this in Exodus 35. Barnabas did this in Acts 4. Plus, others in the Bible gave gifts of assets. But let's examine this idea a little closer for today's Christian. Do you know that studies indicate that 10% of a person's wealth are in cash resources, while 90% of a person's wealth is in their accumulated assets, property, insurance policies, and possessions. I kid my wife sometimes and tell her, we may have some cash challenges today, but when we die, we're gonna be rich. The reason I say this is because while our bank accounts have limited cash resources, in our final years and at the end of our lives, insurance proceeds will come in, investment and retirement funds will become available, and possessions and properties will be sold near the end of our life or after we're gone. In cash accounts, many people have money worth four or five figures. But if you add up the value of all of a person's wealth, their financial accounts, their property, their insurance policies, they may be worth six or seven figures or more. While many churches encourage people to give out of their income sources, which is the second part of the verse, very, very few churches encourage, empower, and equip people to give out of their wealth, the first part of the verse. Most churches today are only fishing on one side of the boat trying to only catch cash resources and their nets are coming up pretty empty. I think Jesus would tell us that now is the time to throw out some nets on the other side of the boat where people's assets are located. The largest gifts most Christians will ever be able to give to their church and the Lord's work doesn't happen during their prime working years, but it happens in their later years and when they go to heaven. <laughs> Yet various research studies indicate that only 5 to 10% of Christians are remembering their church and ministries they currently support with gifts of asset or legacy bequest. It's not that the average Christian isn't willing to do this, it's just that they've never been invited, encouraged, or equipped to honor God from the resources they have been accumulating over their lifetime. Let me share with you a true story that just happened recently. My wife and I were on a trip with another couple that are very close friends of ours. One day when the ladies went out shopping, my friend and I were talking about our assets and estate plans. He took out his laptop and he showed me his QuickBook software with a list of all of his financial assets and accounts. He asked me to look over everything to see if I had any suggestions. I said, everything looks and sounds great. You're only missing one thing. He said, what's that? I said, you cut God out of your will. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, the God who has given you everything you have and that you have faithfully given to during your lifetime isn't in your will or estate plans. He said, I never thought about that. We talked about it for a while and he told me that he planned to go home and put together plans to honor God in his will and estate plans from his accumulated wealth, his assets. As I thought about his plans, I realized my wife and I needed to do the same thing. 
we were both widowed and got remarried several years ago, and we needed to update our legacy bequest and estate plans. So while driving home from this trip, my wife and I had lots of time together in the car. So we took out a pen and paper and had each of us answer the question. If I died in the next 24 hours, where do I want the cash to go that will suddenly come in from insurance and other accounts when I'm gone? We plan on being around for years, but by asking what would we want to happen if we are gone in 24 hours, it made us think very clearly about where we'd want money to go concerning the Lord's work and our family. We wrote out plans for how each of us wanted to honor the Lord by giving a percentage of all the cash funds that would come in shortly after our home going to heaven. We each decided how much would go to our church and what Christian ministries and charities we wanted to get a legacy bequest. We also decided how much would go to our family members, including how and when those funds would be distributed. We are now having these written wishes put into legal estate documents. The wonderful result of the conversation with my friend and then the conversation that my wife and I had in the car is that the Lord will be honored when each of us goes to meet our Savior in heaven. The churches and the ministries we each care about will each receive legacy bequests in the future that are worth more than what we currently give every year. In conferences I've done across the country, I've asked pastors and leaders to raise their hands if their church ever received a planned gift from people's assets or a legacy bequest. Oftentimes, only a few hands go up. So I ask them to share the amount that they've received. They are usually five and six figure gifts, sometimes four figure gifts, and on occasion, seven figure gifts, over a million dollars. That's a lot of money for future ministry, for expansion, for outreach, and much more. So I would like to share with you some creative and practical ideas and resources any church, including yours, can put in their 12-month planning calendar. One best practice is to open up a free brokerage account or formalize a relationship with your denomination's foundation, if they have one, or a Christian community foundation. Once you do this, you can let people in your church know that if they are interested, they can donate appreciated assets like stocks and property, investments, and even a percentage of a business they may own. These types of generous asset-based donations will greatly bless God's work at your church and will provide significant tax savings for the people who decide to make these types of gifts. Most of the time, these donations will be four and five figure gifts, sometimes even more. Once you have your free brokerage account or relationship with the foundation, you can simply mention in your newsletter and on your website that you can receive gifts of appreciated assets. My wife and I recently donated a rental property we owned into a donor advised fund with a Christian Community Foundation. When the property was sold a few months later, it improved our family's cash flow. It greatly increased the amount of giving that we can do to the Lord's work in the future, and it will significantly help us save taxes for the next several years. Secondly, you can give out the free Bless Your Church Legacy Bequest brochure that NEE created for this course. After the conversation I had with my friend and then the car ride where my wife and I wrote out our Legacy Bequest wishes, I realized that a simple legacy pamphlet that churches could send out could be a great help to so many Christian families that love their church and want to have a similar conversation and planning time like my wife and I had. So NAE teamed up with denominational leaders, Christian lawyers, and estate planning experts to create the Bless Your Church legacy brochure. By God's grace, we hope thousands of churches give out this free flyer and that tens of thousands of Christians make a written plan to honor the Lord from their wealth before they go to meet their Savior in heaven. This free brochure will give you an easy way to help families in your church make charitable giving plans for their estate and their accumulated assets. This will be a wonderful tool for people to easily decide to honor the Lord from whatever resources He has given them over their entire lifetime. We've also created a special website called blessyourchurch.org where we will put the free brochure and additional helpful resources for your use. Just think about what these legacy bequests could mean to churches and ministries in the years to come.
The Bless Your Church flyer can be sent out to families with their giving statements, put in the bulletin, included in the newsletter, or put in a literature rack you may have at your church. The third best practice idea is to make plans to offer a will and estates workshop with a trusted Christian financial and estate planning expert from your denomination or someone you know personally. Fourth is to give out free copies of the Christian Legacy Organizer to your church family. As a pastor, I sat with too many spouses and adult children after a loved one died and the family had no idea about a person's funeral plans, finances, and final wishes. So I spent a few years writing the Because I Love You Christian Legacy Organizer. Because your church is going through this course, this resource is a gift to you and your church from NAE. So you will have our blessing and permission to give your church families the link to the digital copy of the Legacy Organizer Manual absolutely free. You can put this website URL link address, blessyourchurch.org slash Legacy Organizer in your church bulletin, a mailing, newsletter, or on your website. The last suggestion is to check out some of the additional services and resources from your denomination and other resources on today's handout that can help your church receive donated assets and legacy gifts. It's been a great pleasure serving you during this online church generosity course. Feel free to tell other Christian pastors and leaders you know and other churches about these courses. And definitely check out the other resources and training we have available related to personal finances, pastor compensation, and other courses we offer on our website. May God continue to bless you and make you a blessing to others. Thanks for watching and being part of this training.